Alright. Just testing some stuff out. Um I wanted to see um how these headphones work. Train Plaza, see what's up. Almost looked like there was like a little mouse on the top of there, but no more wires and shit. Check out the war zone, apparently. Blue, we're not alone. Snap. Sorry. Oh, I can't believe I missed.
painful bitch. Who doesn't like moonshine? Can't believe we went all the way up here. They picked that fight though. I didn't do nothing about it. No, I'm definitely gonna need a knife or something. I got no weapon, no melee weapon. Should go back up and take that six night. Same on the same shit a witch made. Alright, alright. It's time to get back down. We really went up there. See it. Oh. Oh. Trying to fuck me up there. Radio. When evil walks. 
walks the streets of Boston. One man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. That guard... fire outside the cage. There's something about the war zone. Someone named Ken Coleman is calling all Silver Shroud fans for an urgent mission. I want to check it out. He's at the memory den. Invest in museum of witchcraft. Bring me to explore combat scene of a, at the wall. Explore the combat zone. That's what we're gonna have to do. place to get murdered in all the Commonwealth. Oh wow, so she knows about it. Oh shit. Breakers. Fighting outside, no caps on entry, no begging, no loitering. What the? She ain't supposed to be in here. Rip her to shreds. Shit. Feet, feet, feet. Oh. Ah, street justice.
beach justice. Shut there. Some of my best friends are machetes. Get the fuck out of my way. Real bad move. Get it. Insides of people. All I want to do. Playing games with me, huh? Disappearing animals on either side huh? of this cage. No way is this worth it. of them now. All these shorties, man. I don't like just killing chicks all the time. Man. It makes me uncomfortable. Ready to go out like this. Look, whoever's out there, we were rooting for you the whole time. Why don't you come over here? Show us you don't mean no harm. You finished tearing the place up now? Done killing each other. So, you want to talk this out like civilized folk, or are you just gonna bash on my theater some more? No. Why don't you come over here? Show us you don't mean no harm. You finished tearing the is it over? Well, that could have gone worse. <laughs> I don't know. Seemed quite the performance from where I was standing. Are you fucking high or something? 
Why am I asking? Of course you are. Uh. You were still winning the fight, wasn't I? You're strung out and getting sloppy is what you are. Of course, I suppose you ain't got to worry about that now. Seems this one just put us out of business. I'm not sure if I should kiss you or have my little bird here feed you your own entrails. Or I could shoot him in the face. I'm sorry, it just seemed like you guys might be in trouble. I saved your life. You should be grateful. Out of business, what do you mean? What is this place? Not from around here, huh? This is the combat zone. Finest arena in the Commonwealth. Kate, here's the headline. A hundred plus matches undefeated. We used to serve a more legit clientele. But about two years ago, a gang of raiders rolled in and we became a more exclusive establishment. Hmm. Up until you took our entire client base out of the gene pool and put us out of business, that is. I saved your lives. Should be grateful. Grateful? For killing our meal ticket. Excuse me if I don't rush to embrace our savior. They weren't the friendliest bunch, but keeping those idiots entertained at least kept the lights on. To hell with them. More will come. Just need a quick breather and I'll be ready to go. A oh, breather? What? So you can slam more of that junk into your arm now. Now, you know what? I think this was a blessing in disguise. You caught the end of that bout. What'd you think of Kate's work? I seem very not sure I didn't catch the whole thing. Not sure. I didn't catch the whole thing. Yeah, I guess you were pretty busy cleaning house. Impressive work. Makes me think you're good enough to do me a favor. So here's my predicament. I suddenly got no audience. No audience means I got no caps coming in. And if you ain't bringing in caps, little bird, you ain't an asset. You're a liability to me and to yourself. So, here's what I'm thinking. What say I let you take over her contract? What? She goes with you, watches your back. Look, you'd be doing me a favor while I try to get the place back in order. What do you say? Me and her. Why would you want her to go with me? Yeah, Tommy. Just why the hell are you trying to get rid of me? Look, truth is, all that junk, it's been making you careless. And I don't want to be the one doing color commentary when you finally hit the floor. Hmm. All right? So just do me this favor. Both of you. Please. Hmm. I'd like to know what Kate thinks. Don't I get a say in all this? That ain't how a contract works. Besides, you really want to stay here? No audience, no caps, no one to talk to, but yours truly. Jesus. Point taken. Atta girl. So, she's on board. Now what about you? Ooh. Sure. I could use someone watching my back. Good. It's settled then. And here, take this. It's the purse from the last fight. Exterminate his feet. Now just wait a second. What exactly are you gonna do without me here? You don't need to worry about me. I'll get this place set up right. Maybe find a less blood-soaked clientele. Now get the hell out of here. You ain't welcome anymore, little bird. You're a real son of a bitch. You know that, Tommy. You don't have to tell me. I guess you just come find me then when you want to head out. Hey, shoot. So another uh, two people are all with me now. Well, there's a classic. Ready to head out? That depends. How are you feeling? I don't know. Feeling kind of useless sitting here with me thumb up me arse. So, are you ready to get this show on the road? 
Ready. About time I got out of this place. Let's go. So, no one's managed to put you in the ground yet, Kate? Not yet. Though it isn't for lack of trying. Sun Piper. Uh, uh, can't go to Diamond City. Hey. Sure, sure. Just keep your shirt on. Have any goodies for me? She got a baseball bat, that's it. Pockets fancy, you're not able to build potted plants at settlement workshops. Reading that now. Really? Excuse me. Get away from me. I swear, if I wasn't tied down. Let me know if you want me I'll to be help able with to that pick lock. This. Or any lock for that matter. Heads up. Point out what you need and I'll get right on Think it. Think you can unlock that? Yep, yeah, I'm out of bobby pins. Have any on you? Heads up. Yeah? Time to trade a few Look things. Look alive. What is that under? Miscellaneous? What is it? See what you can do. Nope, no problem. 
Nice. Finally, a bit of a challenge. I'll see what I can do. There you go. Nothing to it. Nice. I like Kate. Gamma rounds. Sweet. Should pop them both, but I'm not really the type of person to just kill somebody tied down. I like Kate's accent, she's got like the Scottish accent. Fahey? Attention! Silver Shroud and Mistress of Mystery! This is Chief Corcoran of the Boston Police Department! We know you're in there! You are both wanted in connection with the murder of Mayor Murphy! Come out with your hands Somebody's bucking. It would seem that our leaving the scene of the Scale slaughter was terribly timed. Incurring the wrath of Boston's finest, is an unfortunate and unexpected annoyance. Unexpected by us, maybe. But perhaps not by Fat Fay. Ah, I'm starting to to see into his twisted plan. Ah damn this gunshot wound. <laughs> yeah, damn this gunshot wound. Look, heroes, we can clear this up. Come out now. Excuse my assumption that even the most astute attorney couldn't help us now. You're right, mistress. We must away from your den and evade the police. Clear our names and take Fahey down. That's it. We're coming in. Silver Shroud, mistress of mystery, hands up for order of the Boston police. Chief Gorkonen. I am Death's Shroud, but you are undeserving of my terrible justice. Think of my mercy. Stop or we'll shoot! Men, open fire! Damn it! Where did this mess come from? Wait, it's clearing. Chief, they ain't here. They're gone! I was hoping to say 
that, Officer Leibowitz. I was hoping you'd say that. What will become of our stalwart hero? Find out what happens next week on another exciting episode of The Silver Shroud. You've been listening to Galaxy News Radio, a wholly owned subsidiary of Galaxy News Network. Galaxy News Radio. When evil walks the streets of Boston, one man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. That guardian is the Silver Shroud. Today's episode, Fat Fahey's Folly. No, Fat Fahey. Come on, dollface. It's right through here. Aw, oh, gee, Polly. I ain't never been in a secret gangster hideout before. What the? Polly, you dumb jamoke. What's the big idea? Bringing a dame into our hideout. Into my hideout. Hmm. Nah, relax, boss. She's all right. Ain't you all right? Hey, that sounds like Pete it? from, uh... Yeah. Disney cartoon. It's candy. And yeah, of course I'm all right. I'm just a young, dumb girl in love with a handsome, dangerous man. Ah, brother. All right, the skirt can stay, but close that door. Last thing we need is... The Silver Shroud infiltrating your nefarious lair. Holy cannoli! It's the nightmare of night! The deceptive detective! <laughs> the dark dick! Oh, <laughs> you idiot! The you dark idiot. dick! That's no normal dame! No normal dame, so who is it? Hmm. It's like c cereals or something like that. Like those serial detective comics. Quite right, you custodian of criminality. For I am not Candy, the captivating companion. It is I, the mistress of mystery. I have clouded Polly's paltry perceptions to gain access to your den of depravity. Tuh. Sorry, boss. I had no idea. Your mistake is our game. Is it? I like how her eyes weren't even looking in that direction. I'm sorry, boy. I prefer not to just shoot him like that. What a laugh. And you call me predictable. You don't got any idea, do you? Why, the juviality fee. I, the Silver Shroud, have got you dead to rights. Yet you persist in this mindless guffawing. The fine. Not the behavior I'd expect of a criminal mastermind. And you're right. Criminal mastermind? Me? Bub, you're as dumb as that get up. I'm just a pawn in this game, pal. You see? My master. Gunner.
blade of Bastet to free the Mabot's head from its now destroyed body. Do it. Ha! Sweet freedom! Thanks, Dorface! Look alive. This better be worth it. Sixteen. Need something? Ah, and here I thought hey. he wanted to snuggle. Damn it. need excuse me yeah uh, your thoughts nothing's more satisfying than a smoking gun and a pocket full of caps <laughs> that was all no problem those redheads gotta stay together Let's go in. Mass Bay Medical Center. Hmm. 
my dog is like begging me to go play. Won't be able to hack this. Some real frame rate drops right now. Who's there? Holy shit! You can alter weapons and attire of mostly companions by accessing the trade menu and dialogue. Oh shit. I wish that's not good enough. Stunts also tells you collect a version of perks, which grant a unique bonus. I can't believe I missed that. God damn! Where's that robot coming from? You know what? Doesn't matter. Where do we save it? Theater District. 